What's going on guys? Uh, it's been a little while since my last video obviously. Um, so I'm going to bring something a little different this time. Uh, this is a Pokemon Black 1 uh, random matchup battle from the online online battling feature through the DS. Um, as you can see I have no idea how to actually record video from there so I used my my nice iPhone iPhone video record feature. Um, <laughs> To get this on there, this this video, uh, this battle actually happened a long, probably over a year ago. And I've just I recorded it because it was it was actually a good battle and uh, wanted to eventually show this. But so for those of you who don't know how this works, basically you go in with six Pokemon, and your opponent goes in with six Pokemon, and then you select three. You see the team preview of their team and your team, and you pick three to go in to the actual battle. Um, Unfortunately, I have no idea what his other three were. You can't. It, it doesn't show up in the when you uh, watch the replay. Um, but uh, as you can see, he's got a Blaziken with the uh, overpowered speed boost ability. He's got a Garchomp, which at the time those were both Ubers. Um, and then he's got a Suicune, because I mean, there's no uh, monitoring on tier. There's no tiers or anything like that. You can bring whatever you want. Um, I've got a Scarfed Haxorus. A um, Life Orb, Nidoking, King, and I believe a Leftovers, Quiver Dancing, Volcarona, pretty standard. Um, now the other thing too is I also have no idea how to Pokesav or however you get the Pokemon on there. So these were all ones that I bred and EV trained myself and um, whatnot, uh, raised up levels and all that. So. Uh, and obviously everybody you play has the, I'm not going to say hacked because it's not really hacked, but you know what I mean, the imported overpowered Pokemon. And so that right there, coupled with the fact that everybody just, at the second they realize they're going to lose, just turns off their DS, and there's no penalty for doing that, I don't think, means that it's pretty hard to get a decent battle out of this, uh, the random thing, because they either kill you or they just quit on you. Um... But, and so what I found, like, you kind of have to, the only way to, to actually win a battle is you have to make them think that they're going to win and then uh, sneak attack and actually and actually beat them, which is what uh, you'll see I do here. Um, and let me know what you guys think if this is something you want to see more of. I know the quality is pretty terrible, um, obviously, but if this is something that's actually, that you guys like, maybe I'll figure out how to actually record video from it in a legit way um and you know i've been uh hopefully i'll could also potentially have a team that could uh do the standard six on six wi-fi battles i don't know um with the ev training and all that and it's pretty uh could be pretty difficult but could give it a shot so let's get into this battle um as you can see he's going to lead off with those his uh blaziken i'm leading off with my haxorus uh, he goes. He's gonna go for the protect first turn. Um, getting a little bit ahead of myself here, but uh, he's gonna go for the protect first turn, and I'm gonna go straight for the earthquake, which I'll choice lock into. Now he obviously doesn't know I'm no, I'm scarfed because he stays in, um, and I am gonna outspeed him and knock him out. He uh, my hacksters does have perfect IVs in. I think it's HP, attack, and speed, so, you know, definitely going to be fast enough to take out this Blaziken. Um, at this point now, he's going to switch into his Suicune, or not switch into, but bring in his Suicune, uh, which point I'm choiced into Earthquake, so I'm going to get out of there. Um, I'm going to go into my Nidoking, King, which is a little bit of a risky play, especially since I kind of predicted an Ice Beam here. Uh, but my... Nido King is going to be bulky enough to take this, and this Nido King doesn't even have that good of IVs at all because in order to get the Dream World ability that I wanted, uh, had to I had to just catch him at whatever. You can't really; it's really hard to breed that. Um, but so I'm going to go for the T Bolt. He's just going to start calm mining. I don't know what uh, I outspeed him. Obviously, I, I don't know what he was expecting here. Um, but he's going to switch him out now and go into his Garchomp because he doesn't want to lose his Suicune just yet. Um, 
obviously Garchomp is going to uh, be unaffected by the Thunderbolt. Um, at this point, I switch out. Basically, going to sack my Volcarona here because I I'm thinking I need I think I need the Nido King to take out to possibly take out that Suicune for later. So I'm just going to take the Outrage to the face. And since my Volcarona probably doesn't have very good defense EVs, he's going to get dominated. Um, but now I'm going to send in my Scarf Haxorus. Now if he's Scarfed, I'm screwed. But turns out he's not. So I'm going to Outrage, outspeed him, take him out. And uh, then his Suicune is at low enough HP that an Outrage is definitely going to take him out, as we'll see in a minute here. Um, yeah, he's going to go into it and definitely going to take him out. Um, so yeah, this is a short little battle. Um, let me know if you guys like this format. You know, I could do some more of these potentially. Uh, I kind of like the the idea of uh, the you know the mechanics of the game. I guess with the picking three out of six Pokemon and all that. But yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.